You know what that song means? It means it's time to go on another adventure with Goofy and me. Come on along. We'll have fun. We'll meet new faces. We'll do things. And we'll go places. Oh, boy, Nick. I can hardly wait to go. Okay, Goofy. It won't be long now. Come along and sing the song and join the jamboree. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. Come on, everybody join in. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. I guess everybody likes to dance. And Goofy and I are no different. But, Nick, we are different. For one thing, I'm taller than you are. <laughs> no, Goofy. What I mean is that you and I like to dance. Nothing personal, Nick. But wouldn't you rather dance with Minnie? <laughs> oh, well, what I'm really trying to say is that today's story is an adventure that all started with a waltz. While Mickey and I tell you about it, you can read along with us in your book. You know it's time to turn the page whenever you hear the chimes ring, like this. Are you ready? Let's turn to the first page. Here we go. Goofy and I were heading out the door to do a little fishing when Clarabelle and Minnie came running up the wall. Oh, Mickey! Wait till you hear the wonderful news! I won! I won! I won! Did you hear that, Nick? <laughs> she won! Hot diggity dog! Oh, uh, just one thing, Clarabelle. What did you win? Well, last week, Minnie and I went to a concert to hear the music of Johann Strauss. God, who's that? He was a famous composer from Vienna, Austria. Yes, and the symphony conductor announced that this year there's going to be a big Strauss festival in Vienna. Clarabelle, into the drive for a free trip for four to the festival, and the organizers just called to say, I won, I won, I won! invited us to go with her, so we hurried off to pack our bags. A few days later, the four of us arrived in Vienna. Just think, here we are in Austria. <laughs> I can't wait to see my first kangaroo. <laughs> no, Goofy, you're thinking of Australia. This is Austria, the home of Johann Strauss. This Mr. Strauss must be quite a fellow. <laughs> I'd like to meet the guy. I'm afraid we won't be able to, Goofy. Johann Strauss lived and wrote his music in the 1800s. He wrote polkas and operas, but he's most famous for his lovely waltzes. That's why they called him the Waltz King. Clarabelle, do you suppose there are still places where people can go waltzing in Vienna? How romantic. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Let's go! Clarabelle grabbed my hand and went looking for a ballroom. She was so excited, Mickey and Minnie had a hard time keeping up. Minnie and I entered the ballroom just a few seconds behind Clarabelle and Goofy. Look, Mickey! They're already on the dance floor! Help, Mick! She keeps spinning me around and around. I'm getting dizzy. As Minnie and I waltzed onto the floor, Clarabelle and Goofy were dancing up a storm. Three beats to the measure, Goofy. One, two, three, one, two, three. I never knew how much Clarabelle loved to waltz. I don't think Goofy's loving it. Yow! My toes! Let's spin! Goofy stumbled around the dance floor, stepping on each other's feet and crashing into the other dancers. Whoops. <laughs> Beg your pardon. They spun around faster and faster. One, two, three. One, two, three. Whoa! Can't we go a little slower? After completing the spin, Clarabelle's foot came down on Goofy's toes again. Goofy tripped and went flying into the orchestra. Yow! Goofy! Oh, no! 
his head stuck in that drum. Come on, Minnie, let's go help him. Oh, dear. What have I done? He has a nasty bump on his head. Are you all right, old buddy? I've got a bit of a headache, but I think I'll be fine. We have a big day of sightseeing planned for tomorrow and tickets to the concert tomorrow night. Maybe that's enough dancing for now. Let's head for the hotel and get settled. How does that sound? <laughs> Good idea. I have lots of work to do before the concert. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two. I guess I was acting a little funny that night at the ballroom, wasn't I, Mick? You sure were, Goofy. At the time, I thought all you needed was a good night's rest. But when I woke up the next morning, your bed was empty. I went down the hall and knocked on Clarabel and Minnie's door. Good morning, Mickey. We're ready to see the sights. Hello, Mickey. Isn't Goofy with you? I was hoping you might have seen him. He's disappeared from our room. Let's ask the manager, Mr. Fritz, if he saw Goofy leave. Mr. Fritz was downstairs at his desk. Yeah, Herr Mickey. Late last night, Herr Goofy asked for an all-night tailor. I sent him to my cousin Ludwig. <laughs> Mr. Fritz gave us the address, and we hurried off. I'm worried, Mickey. Goofy has a way of getting into fixes, even when he's thinking clearly. You're right. There's no telling what he might do after that knock on the head. Oh, dear. It's all my fault. We'll find him. There's Ludwig's place just ahead. We all went inside and found Mr. Ludwig. Yeah, a fellow who matches your friend's description had me work all night to make him a new suit. He seemed a little confused and uh, did not tell me his name. Then he left in such a rush that he forgot his old clothes. Yep, these are goofy things, all right. Where is he now, Mr. Ludwig? Oh, you just missed him. He asked for directions to a music shop, so I sent him to my cousin Heidi's. As we started off for Heidi's, Goofy was just arriving at her music shop on the other side of town. Excuse me, madam. I need some music paper for a new composition of mine that everyone is going to love. Yes, sir. We have just what you need. Thank you. Now I must hurry. There's no time to waste. I must be ready. Goofy began to write feverishly as he left the shop. No, that's not quite right. It's not good enough. He tore up the paper and tossed it over his shoulder as he continued down the street, writing furiously. While I was busy writing, Mickey, Minnie, and Clarabelle got to the music shop. Madam Heidi, we're looking for a friend. A tall fellow. Who's been acting a little strangely. And he's wearing a new suit of clothes. Ah, oh, yes, he just left. He bought some music paper. Just then, Mickey noticed the paper trailing off down the street. Look, if we follow this, it may lead us right to Goofy. I hope we find him soon. <laughs> Meanwhile, Goofy kept walking and composing at a frantic pace, leaving a trail of paper behind him. Pretty soon, a policeman spotted him. Hey, you in the funny clothes. What do you think you're doing? Don't you know that littering is against the law? Leotoring? I am composing the greatest music of all time. Goofy kept walking down the street. The policeman called after him. Keep it up, Mr. Composer, and you'll be writing music from behind bars. Bars? Just a few more bars and I'll be finished. You can say that again, mister. We followed Goofy's trail all afternoon and into the evening. Every time the trail disappeared, we'd see more music paper and take up the chase again. The papers led them to a big auditorium. There was a crowd of people outside. Mickey, this is where our concert is tonight. Why would Goofy come here? I'm not sure, Minnie, but keep a sharp eye out. We might spot Goofy waiting to go inside. Pretty soon, Minnie noticed that it was time for the concert to start. Now what do we do, Mickey? We cross the 
trailer. I've got our tickets with me. Let's get to our seats. Maybe from the balcony we'll be able to spot him in the crowd. They climbed up the stairs and went to their seats. You were right, Mickey. We can see the whole audience from up here. But I still don't see Goofy. The concert began, but Goofy was nowhere in sight. The orchestra played several pieces by Johann Strauss. As the last one finished and the conductor turned to bow, a tall, strangely dressed character walked onto the stage. It's Goofy! <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And now, the orchestra will play my latest and most brilliant composition. Everyone stared at Goofy in amazement. Here's your music, Mr. Conductor. I just finished it a few minutes ago. As we watched, a couple of security guards grabbed Goofy and let him off stage. Hey, what's the matter? Release me this instant. As the audience left, we rushed backstage and stopped the guards. It's all right, officers. He's our friend. He's been acting funny ever since he bumped his head. When the guards let him go, Goofy dashed past us and went back onto the empty stage. We hurried after him. Goofy, don't you recognize us? We're your friends, Goofy. I'm your old pal, Mickey. And this is Minnie and Clarabelle. I'm very pleased to meet you, but I'm afraid you're mistaken. My name's not Goofy, it's Johann Strauss. Mickey, what are we going to do? I don't know. Let's play along for a while until we can think of something. You folks are in luck. You'll be the first to hear a new kind of music I created just today. Instead of having four beats to the measure, it only has three. Isn't that a marvelous idea? Oh, that's terrific, Mr. Strauss. What's your new music called? I'm calling it a thingamabob. Don't you mean a waltz? A waltz? That's even better. And in honor of your naming it, I shall call my first waltz the Clarabella. Oh, how wonderful! Goofy sat down at the keyboard and started playing. Oh, that's funny. I thought I could play the piano. Maybe it's broken. He stuck his head in the back of the instrument to see what was wrong. Just then, Clarabelle walked up to him. Johan? To thank you for naming your waltz after me, I want to give you a big hug. She threw her arms around Goofy, accidentally hitting the piano top. With a big crash, he fell down on his head. Minnie and I helped Clarabelle pull Goofy out of the piano. Whoa. Hi, Mick. Hi, Minnie. Hello, Clarabelle. <laughs> Gosh, where am I? And why am I wearing these funny clothes? It's all because you're Johann Strauss. Isn't he the fellow who writes that awful dance music? <laughs> that stuff gives me a headache. It gave us a headache, too. <laughs> Welcome back, Goofy. We missed you. You know, Goofy, I think that was one of my favorite trips. Which one, Mick? The one to Vienna, of course. Oh, yeah. That trip was pretty good. It was the other one I didn't like. Which trip was that, Goofy? The one over Clarabelle's foot. <laughs> <laughs> no, until next time. Thank you.